It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Miami Marlins. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. And, Boog, this is as close to an elimination game as you can get without it actually being one. Going down 3-0 with more or less just in this thing. So this game's going to tell us whether we're going to have a real series in store for us or if we're just going to be packing our bags and going home. A lot of people feel these teams are more evenly matched than the first two games would indicate. So we'll see if we get a bounce-back performance in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Two outs, space is empty. Now the DH for the Padres. Darrell Hayden. Darrell Hayden. Absolutely crushed. And that one is going to land by a man down by the river. A gigantic blast. He's up to three home runs in the series. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. He wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it. And it went a long way. It's game three of the National League Championship Series. Stepping in for San Diego, Terrell Hayden. Sanchez back to work. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Legends really are cemented in the postseason. You think of David Ortiz heroics for the Red Sox, Derek Jeter as Mr. November, or Randy Johnson in the 2001 World Series, just to name a few. Quips it to Mountcastle, one up, one down. Top six. So here's the Padres DH. Terrell Hayden. And the pitch. That one ripped. Back there. See you later. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 4-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many. Now it's the DH, Darrell Hayden. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Odd choice here. They intentionally walk him, and the runner now into scoring position. The bat. The right field. First and second. No outs. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. That one way inside. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Oh, the throw is over his head. Half on his way home. He'll score and they've tied it. It's yeah. four to four. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base, and a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still, definitely an error, though. 
Go ahead run on base. Manny Machado getting ready to hit. In the air right side. Badu gets under it. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. To third. Not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Good read there at second base to move up to third. Now it's a lot easier to get that run in with one away. Next for the Padres, Spencer Torkelson. Now one out to right. Makes the grab. Here comes the runner from third. The throws offline. He's saved. 5-4 now as they take the lead. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less. So first and second with two outs. Darrell Hayden, the next to hit. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And this one could be extra bases. Bogarts around third. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. Not in time. He's safe. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed. And everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Third, two gone. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. In the air, right field. And that is that. They put two on the board, four hits, no errors, and one left on. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Padres seven and the Marlins four. This team has been truly dominant in the series. Up now, three games to none. Pretty demoralizing on the other side. You want to get this thing over as quickly as possible. So stay focused, come back for the next game, and close out this series. This one finishes with a final of 7-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long 